So when we start talking about the thoughts of God, amen, we've got to break out of the natural and move beyond the limitations of our mind and recognize a perfect mind that when he thought of himself, it was a perfect thought. It was an eternal thought. He was thinking of himself. Amen. What is the eternal thought of God? It's his eternal thought about himself, how he will express himself, his attributes, the fullness of him being expressed as a family. God thought that before the foundation of the world. And you were part of that thought because you were intended to be part of that expression. So I know, I mean, when we start dealing with this, we're dealing with things that are so far removed from the things we've known all of our life that only, only faith is going to allow us to penetrate beyond our carnal mind, beyond all of our experiences, beyond the natural that we've been locked into and pierce beyond all of that and see that this is absolutely nothing but the truth and the only real, real there is. So I want to say this statement again. Thus the thoughts of God are eternal. They are real. I want to make this other statement from the paragraph before. The bride was already in his mind. She was existing in his thoughts. Sometimes uh, we've had the tendency to almost downplay that. Like, I was there before, but not only in his thoughts. Is there anything more real than his thoughts? Is there any existence more real than his thoughts? So don't say that was only in his thoughts. Say that was already in his thoughts. That's where everything originated from. That makes it more real than any other expression. That is the real expression. That's the genuine. That's the first. That's, I hope you see what I'm saying. We can't say, well, you know, I existed before. I was in heaven before. I have representation in heaven. Well, that was only as a thought. My goodness, you want anything more than that? I mean, only as a thought, a genuine thought of God, an attribute of God, God thinking of himself, God himself. I was there, real, existing in his thoughts. And you say a statement like only in his thinking, only in his thinking, where else do you want to originate? Do you want to pop out somewhere else down the line? No, I want to originate right there. And if I originate there, no matter where I pop out down the line, it goes right back to my original existence in the mind of God. So you got to go so far beyond this carnal, so far beyond the tangible, so far beyond realms and dimensions. Because realms and dimensions were created to express God's thoughts. I'm telling you, this message is so deep. No earthly man could have preached this, but it's so simple. It's not complicated, but when you try to understand it by carnality, it just doesn't add up because I only know matter, space, and time. I only know here and there. I only know now and then. But there was a time that I knew before that, and there's something inside of me that still knows what I knew before that. (laughs) 